This is the Red Scarlet X, and this is the new GoPro Hero 3 Black. Uh, the GoPro Hero 3 Black can shoot at 2.7K with ProTune and uh, raw color balance and shoot 24 frames per second, I think even 30 frames per second. So today we're going to try to match footage between the two cameras. So the reason we would want to match footage from the GoPro Hero 3 and the Scarlet the GoPro Hero 3 can go in places that the Scarlet can't go. It's much cheaper to replace or add two or more and add different scenes to something that you're shooting, like an action scene and so on, just like GoPros of the past. So in order to do this test, we're going to set the GoPro Hero 3 in ProTune mode with raw color balance, which basically gives the flattest image possible for this camera. Then we're going to take that and we're going to put it up against the Scarlet at ISO 800 at uh, about 3700 Kelvin. The scene that I'm showing you was designed to push both cameras to the limits. So basically you have 20 stops of range, you have a mixed color balance of 5600 Kelvin for the outside and 3200 Kelvin for the inside. And what I wanted to see is with 20 stops of range, how would both cameras handle it? So right out of the box, the GoPro Hero 3 doesn't look all that much different than the Red Scarlet X. I made a preset in Magic Bullet looks with four different color correction options. So that if I ever shoot in this situation again with both cameras, I can go back to this as basically a reference point in order to get both cameras to match. With that, you can see that both cameras start to look fairly similar. You'd be able to cut them together without noticing a huge difference between the cameras. And especially now, you watching probably on a 1080p screen can't really tell the difference between the two. One note is that when we're matching these two, you're going to be able to grade and post the footage from the red uh, much further and much differently if you're going to do a, a final look that it's something completely different. The GoPro is going to be limited because the, the codec is so starved for info that when you start pushing it or if you start doing crazy grades on the footage, uh, you'll start to run into problems with posterization, banding, um, noise, grain, all sorts of issues that you aren't going to see on, uh, say, the red. But if you aren't planning to wildly color correct your final footage, then I think these two cameras can actually match fairly well. I wouldn't be surprised if you started seeing more big budget movies with shots from GoPros in the past. It's not like Crank where it'll stick out like a sore thumb. Footage from this can actually cut in with a lot of different cameras. And as you can see, it actually has about the same dynamic range as the Red Scarlet. 